Hello friends, my name is Tofik and you are watching my channel Graphics Dance. So in this video, I am going to tell you how we can apply outlines to text in Corel Draw. So let's get started. So as we know that we can easily apply outlines or the, the outlines are already present to any objects that we create in Corel Draw and we can change the values using this panel over here or we have the outline panel over here so we can simply double click and change it but when it comes to the text as I have written something down here we cannot see the outline option over here so we can apply the outline in two ways so either you can simply right click on any of the color so it will be the outline will be applied to the selected text or you can simply I will undo this control Z we can simply click on the outline panel or the outline option and you can apply the outline from here so let's say if I select let's say three points so it will look something like this but one thing to remember that where do we want to apply the outline means the position of the outline so this is right now at the center of the text so it is half inside the text and half outside so as you can see the position it is centered outline so usually we keep it to outside because we want to see the entire text if we select either center or inside we cannot as we increase the width of the outline the text gets hidden behind the outline so it is important to know that usually we select outside outline so that the outline as well as the text is also visible we have so many options now as you can see if I press ok and as you can see these outlines or the, these letters are overlapped on each other and uh, because of that the outline is also overlapped so what if you don't want to overlap the outlines you can simply go here again double click and choose this option behind the field so the outlines will go behind the text so this problem will go away like this as you can see I will show you once again like this see here so this is how it works maybe some other place we can spot the issue as you can see here and there is one more option called as the scale with objects so what it does is if you turn this option on the width or the, the, the width or the amount of outline it changes as we reshape the text so what if we turn this option off the outline width will remain the same as you can see uh, now it is 7.5 even if I decrease the size it will remain same I will show you it is still 7.5 but since I have decreased the size of the text it is not looking good it is looking out of proportion so if you want to keep the proportion we can simply I will decrease the size or this looks ok to me if I turn this option on then it will change as we reshape the object so it looks proper now as I've shown you we can turn this, uh, these options on and there is one more thing now if you want to change the corners we can use this option see here we can choose these options if you want beveled corners you can use beveled corners and this is the miter limit if you keep the miter limit above 90 only then you will see the difference otherwise if it is below 90 you cannot see the difference so I will, for now I will keep it to round corners like this and if you want to change the arrow heads you can always change the arrow heads so this is how we can apply outline to text but there's one more thing we cannot see the gradient option or the fountain field as they call it in Corel Draw we cannot see the gradient in Corel Draw so 
what if you want to still apply the gradient gradient color to the outline you can simply use a trick so what i'll do is i will select the text i'll go to object and break break artistic text so it will break the text as well as the outline i will show you once again effect i want to convert outline to object rather you can also break the object or you can always go to convert outline to object so this will separate the outline and the text as you can see and it will convert the outline into shape itself so now since this is a shape now we can simply select the fountain fill color or the interactive fill color and we can simply apply the gradient whatever color that we like it is as easy as this so this is the outline now and we can put it over here so it looks like the outline so it works so if you want to apply gradient on the outline we can use this trick and it just looks like an outline and we have applied the gradient so this is how we can do it firstly how to, uh, i told you how to apply outline on the text and secondly i have told you how to apply gradient to outline using a trick so i hope you like this video and that's it for this video i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers